Phil Perkins, a student, was a typical college kid in a typical college town. He went about his mellow ways until a universal cause turned his world around. A tree said something to Phil. It communicated with letters that formed a few succinct words. The yellow paper upon its trunk called for Phil to be a listener among a gathering of nerds. And so Phil eagerly went to the lecture hall as the signage did instruct. He listened to the many ways people caused the planet to shift, shake, and deconstruct. Endowed with knowledge, Phil walked around the campus in a very sordid phase. He became aware that he and all others must change their wasteful ways. Phil knew he could begin by recycling certain items, like bottles, papers, and cans. He could reuse other things, shopping bags and boxes, and even rubber bands. Phil brainstormed how he could use less energy and thus reduce his waste. He figured since it takes fuel to travel, he would refrain from driving and would teleport from place to place. It is known among the masses that manufacturing paper sacrifices the lives of many trees. Phil vowed to use none at all. Instead, he'd use markers to take notes on his hands, arms, and knees. Phil thought about how much water was used in common practices such as washing clothes and bathing. He said to himself, if I did not shower any more, that's a resource I'd be saving. Phil realized he could forfeit the convenience of bottled water if he had a hump like a camel. He wouldn't need grocery bags if he had a pouch similar to one of a marsupial mammal. Phil reveled in the ironic fact that all the waste reduction did much to expend his energy. However, he simply could not dismiss the threat of global warming, so he hugged a tree.